Dayton, and Greg White are currently students at Southern Polytech University and were game testers for Glitch, an organization that works with African American high school students who have a passion for gaming and a desire to learn about the game industry, fulfilling their dreams of becoming game programmers and designers. The Glitch testers gain real world experience working for game companies, testing games, and learning to design games. Take it away. <laughs> Well, here we are. We sure do play a lot of games, Greg. Yes, we do. Since we're like way little, we've been playing many games that goes from Pokemon all the way to Halo. Pokemon Silver was my first video game that I ever played. I remember getting a Game Boy and Pokemon Silver for my birthday, and I didn't know what it was because I've never played a video game before. This was when I was first introduced into the world of gaming, and I never thought that 12 years later I'd be still playing video games to say. My first game was Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> this game basically made me who I am. Every time, <laughs> every time I saw this game, I would just get it, go into a corner, and just play it endlessly for hours and hours. Became the Hedgehog. Well, pe what people don't understand is how much work that goes into these video games. It is very undermined how much time to create a 24-hour game with a 24-hour campaign, how many man hours, how many months. It may take uh, somewhere up to a year to complete a single game. When it comes to video games, there's like way more <laughs> in it than you can actually see. When there's video games, it's like inside there's another world, something that's different, something like more innovative than what it actually is. And our job for Glitch was basically to go into that world and basically just break the world, just break the video game, which is the opposite of what you're supposed to do, which is exactly what we were supposed to do. We were go, supposed to go into a video game, figure out what was wrong with it so that it was better for whoever was gonna be actually playing that game. Glitch is a research program um, founded by Betsy DeSalvo, which gets African Americans to develop their interest in computer science. Yes, because surprisingly, African Americans are really underrepresented, underrepresented in, the job, in the job community for um, computer science and information technology, which is something we really wanted to change with Glitch. Gosh. I remember my first day at Glitch. Mm -mm. I remember walking in not knowing what to expect because I have never done this before. I got a, um, a saw for my school. What did I see for my school? Oh yeah, I went to Grady High School and on a newsletter that I received, it said, glitch game testing, come uh, make some money playing video games. And I immediately thought this was a scam because it looked like it was too good to be true. You get paid to play video games? This is something that like every kid who played video games dreamed of, making money playing video games. And I immediately emailed the person, because I really want to know if this is real, because if it was, it was like a dream come true. And I emailed Betsy, and she sent me an email back saying, yes, this is real, fill out this application. And then I got, um, she told me to come in for an interview. Well, my first day at Glitch, it was amazing. Like, I was actually here playing video games and making money. And I was also learning new things as a result. When we first started, we were just shadowing people, watching them like do glitches and fighting bugs in the video games. I remember when I first started, it wasn't really what I expected. But then again, I didn't know what to expect. Um, when, this has never happened to me before. This is the first time I've ever gone out myself to look for a job. This is my first job that I've ever had. This was, uh, I was testing games coming in high school and I didn't have no idea what I was supposed to be doing. And, but it's still, Glitch was a very great experience for me. Yeah, with my interview, it's kind of a pretty funny story. I got really dressed up, went to the building, and I was there for three hours. When I got there, it turns out the person who was interviewing me forgot I was coming. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there for three hours, looking around like, okay, now what? But lucky for me, I got a phone interview later that week, and I found out that I got the job right there on the spot. 
I had to wait an entire week, and then the person who was doing the interviews didn't e even email me. I had to figure out, because I was scared. I really wanted the job, because I had told my entire family I got the interview. And they were telling me what to wear, what to say, what questions to ask, how to talk, how to dress. And so everybody was really rooting for me. And when I finally got that email, my entire family was so proud of me, because I went out and took the initiative to find a job. Because nobody, no, nobody knew that I was searching for a job until I accidentally told them about the job interview, and they, was all, and they went crazy over it. Well, earlier I said that we found bugs in what we were doing, and there are a lot of bugs, and there was this one bug that really had my mind going. Like, we were playing this Facebook game, and it was like you were in a casino, and casino owner, and you had to make money. Well, I found this bug where you get in a corner and you put slot machines all around you. And then the internet browser just froze for a second and it just went off and just shut off. And I remember this because I was freaking out because Google Chrome told me, you killed me. It literally I was like, said you killed me. I was like, what? What just happened? Is I killed the internet? <laughs> this is what happens now? Well... But, I, but after, like years after I was finished with Glitch, I was playing Halo 4 the other night. And I got stuck in a glitch, which really made me mad because I was in the middle of a, uh, a, middle of a mission. And I was trying to get onto a, um, a ship. And then I ended up below the world. Somehow I was stuck and I was just floating in space. And then I tried everything to get out of it. I could see everything a part of the game, but I could not get out. And I was thinking, like, if I was in Glitch, this would be a major bug that I would be telling the producer producers or the designers of the game because I had to restart the entire campaign over because I could not get out of that one spot. And, I, and when you do that, when you tell a person or a designer of a game, you have to write it down and make sure that you, have, you tell them exactly where it is and what, and what to do to do it over again so that they can fix it. I really wish that I tested Halo 4 because I really love Halo and that also because I can fix this game. Apparently, Halo 4 is a really buggy game because when we were playing four-player co-op, it was four of us playing. And we walked on the elevator, and he was walking really slow for some reason. And we were all on the elevator. But because he was the first player, we teleported back to where he was, and something crazy happened. The world exploded, and we all fell to our deaths. It's really, really bad. Not, nothing against the game, it's a great game, but it just has some bugs in that'll just be like, yeah, I, I think, wish I could have done, worked on that game. And the thing about Glitch that had me like really excited is that it's a job that I would really want to get up and actually go to. Like most people wake up, go to job, to work, and they're like, oh, I have to go to work. Oh, I don't want to do this. I want to go back to sleep. There's mm. so many other things I would rather do. But not with me and Glitch. It's like I get up, go, have fun while learning at the same time, learn how to program computers, which was hard at first. But eventually I got better, which led to my interest in computer science. When I look back and think about it, I was really lucky to have a job that I love and that I'd love to do every day, that I learn. And it didn't, ma and it didn't like, help me. And it also helped that I also made some money along with it on the side. And so, who else can, like, there's not many kids in high school that can say they have a job that they love going to and that they actually learn for something. It was way better than most people working as cash registers at Burger King. I remember going to my school telling them that I was a game tester, and I felt proud about it because it was like, oh, how'd you find out about that? Can I do it? I was like, sorry, you missed the deadline. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, everybody was so excited about this job, and, I, and it made me excited because I love this job. And this one thing that I want, if I want y'all to take away is to go take the initiative. If there's something that you want to do, it's never too young to go after and start looking around of it, because you may accidentally found it. I accidentally went on my school's newsletter, which I've never done before. That was the first time I've ever looked at that newsletter, and it comes out weekly. And, I've go, and I went to that school for four years, and one time. And for me, I was just talking with my auntie, and she kind of accidentally sent me an email. And I was like, what is this? It's, like him, I was thinking it was a scam until I um, emailed Betsy, and I got the interview and I got the job, so everything worked out well. Yes, yeah, so don't be afraid to take the initiative. Don't be afraid to go out, because I was never really wanting to go ask somebody for something. I was afraid to talk, 
But don't be afraid to do that, because you, you may get what you like. I never dreamed I'd, I'd be here in front of you. Before I found out about Glitch, I was thinking about doing something about biology or bioengineering. I'm happy that it actually turned it out this way, for better or for worse, because I, I love going to SPSU. I love my majoring in computer science. I love how my life has turned out so far. And so uh, don't be afraid, because you may be surprised. <laughs> Anything you got left, Greg? Well, all I can say is, want to go play Halo? You mean work? Oh yeah, work. Let's do this. <laughs>